All right, so what is up everybody on YouTube? This is Bullet RC Country, you guys again with another video. Now, this is gonna be a packing video of what I packed to go to New York. Um, and the audio might sound weird, and it's just because I wanted to show you guys kind of what I packed in two bags, you know? I like to pack light. It was only two days that I was in New York. Um, so as far as packing goes, all I did was, this is my carry-on. You guys know your carry-on bag or whatever. Um, and this book bag is actually from Mark One. I've had for a, a really long time. It's actually like a really nice uh, leather backpack. But in here, um, I usually keep like my electronics and stuff that, you know, I just don't want people to like mess up, whatever, whatever the case may be. So of course the camera, which you guys are watching on. Um, you got my laptop right here, which I actually just finished up rendering another video. Uh, if you guys want to check out the sticker kind of setup I got, there you go right there. Um, and then I can go ahead and put this over here. Of course, this is the mic I use, so let me go ahead and put this mic on so you guys get some better sound. All right, word, that should sound a lot better for you. Okay, so that's my book bag, like I said, electronics, you know what I'm saying? Mouse, you know, mini tripod for my camera, uh, another camera lens, this is my 50 millimeter uh, 1.8 lens, Mophie power charge pack that died on me too when I was in New York, Canon chargers and stuff like that. That's just electronics, that's my electronic bag. And like I said, I keep that in there. I keep this on me because I definitely don't want my laptop getting messed up and I don't want people throwing around my stuff at all. Oh yeah guys, I also forgot in that bag I also packed some Jason Mark quick uh, quick wipes. And it's funny that I packed these because I actually met Jason Mark when I was up in New York. So I got these on me just in case, you know, my shoes get dirty or anything like that. Alright guys, so right here is going to be my main bag. So let's go ahead, hop into it. Um, I don't think I have any vlog footage of actually going to... Uh, Nike Lab, the 21 Mercer Nike Lab store, but um, I did cop some shoes from there, and you guys, if you follow me on Instagram, you already seen them, um, but I actually had to put the box in here. Um, so, let's go ahead and get into the contents that are in here. Um, I guess I can start off with the hats first, and then we'll work our way up. Alright guys, so getting into hats, as I said, you guys have seen this huge stack of hats I had, and these were actually me and Tony's uh, Sample Industries, our Sample Fisheries hats um, that we had made. Uh, a lot of you haven't even seen this yet. Um, but we were selling them actually at New York. Uh, we had some of our new shirts, our new hats as well. So that's the black one. Um, and this is the, uh, or that was a gray one. And this is a black one right here. Uh, you know, suede brim. You know, you know I like my suede. Um, but yeah, this was the new hat that we had came up with. Um, you know, kind of a strap back, almost like a buckle back. Um, you guys have seen recently I picked up the off-white uh, hat. Of course, Virgil Abloh. Or Abloh, whichever one, Virgil. I also brought, of course, I needed to bring one of my red, my Huff hats, and people ask me about these all the time. Um, these are so old that they don't, they're not available anymore. So I, I'm really sorry for the people who really want them. If I ever see them restock anywhere, I will let you guys know, but this is an all over suede Huff hat with the metal H. People love these hats, they ask me about it all the time, but it's so old that I don't have any links for you guys to get them anymore. Um, next up, of course, we have our Stussy hat. This is a newer suede hat that I got actually off of Black Market US. Um, so you guys see it's just an all blue suede uh, hat. I actually wore this to SneakerCon NYC. If you guys seen a picture on my Instagram, that's uh, the dude Joe uh, at Complex that took a picture of me. He's wearing Magistas too, so um, that was the hat I was in. Now of course this right here is from Profound Aesthetic. Of course a shout out to them. You guys have kind of seen this hat before um, in my picture when I posted it on Instagram, but this is my Profound Aesthetic all white hat. We were up there with the good guys at Snups um, promoting the giveaway. Um, so I actually have one more Snups hat as well. You know, just a, a keepsake um, from New York. Um, so my main shoe that I was rocking with this trip was of course the uh, Footscape Magista. Uh, a shoe that a lot of people don't like, but I like this is my favorite shoe of 2015. So I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this shoe and I'm gonna wear it to uh, SneakerCon. So this was the shoes that I wore actually in SneakerCon, around SneakerCon. This is the shoes that if you came, you would have actually seen me in. The Nike Footscape Magista. This is my favorite shoe of 2015 so far. This this junk is fire to me, I don't know. It's just, it's fire to me. So then, um, I was like, okay, I'm in New York. I gotta, you know, I gotta finesse, you know, flex a little bit. So, I went ahead and brought my Y3s, and you guys have already seen this unboxing, like, just now, probably. Like, that video you just seen getting done um, was these right here, and these are, of course, the Y3 um, Kaza Highs. So, I brought the red, uh, off-white, and black pair, and then I had, you know, I never had a reason to use the Y3 uh, dust bag until, like, now. Um, and then, of course, I also brought the, uh, the blues, the blue joints. Um, I brought both pairs. I didn't even get, I didn't, didn't even get wearing, end up wearing the blue ones. I wore my black and red ones, you know, per Instagram as you guys have seen, but I did not wear my blue ones. 
I got my hype beast brush though, if y'all can check that out. You know, the hype beast brushed on me. Alright, so we got done with the hats, we got done with the shoes, so let's go ahead and get into like the jeans and the shirts and stuff that I do um, have left. So of course these are my um, sizes of our new Sample Industries Fisheries stuff. Um, mostly I was just wearing me and Tony's brand, like I was wearing my brand that most of the time in New York. So this is our new tees that haven't come out yet. Um, of course these are the Sample Fisheries, some people have been asking about it. Um, what happened was the first shirts we got like this, they were not what we wanted from the manufacturer. So we had to go back um, and get them replaced. That's why it's been taking us so long to get this collection out. And uh, a fun fact, um, the Sample Essentials collection was supposed to come out after this. Uh, but with that mark, uh, manufacturer mishap, it couldn't. Um, so we got that shirt. Just some regular 10 deep uh, jeans. If you guys ever seen me wear the uh, all black uh damage repair jeans or whatever from Tindy. that's what these are they run through the size you know nothing crazy it's just a black kind of uh distress and destroy pair of uh 10 deep jeans then next up we have these let me go ahead and toss these back here we have this shirt right here which is the same as the one you just seen um it's funny because me and tony kind of bounce on and off um designing the shirts ourselves uh and this is the one this is like my shirt like i solely designed this one um, of course, this is the black on black version on the front. So you have black on black and then down here it does say the freshest catch. You kind of can see that on the side. Um, and then over here we do have uh, the split hem on the side of this shirt too. And then of course, once again, we have the fish and the sample on the back. All right, so the next up, we actually have another pair of H&M jeans and these were the pair I was wearing in the picture. Um, a lot of people ask me, how do I distress my jeans? Cause I, I, I do it myself. Um, just search it up on YouTube really um, all you really need is a knife um, and it just depends on how you do it and once you cut them they might not look that great but I've been wearing these uh, I have washed these and you know after a while the tears or anything will look a lot better so this is a pair of uh, destroyed jeans uh, that I got from H&M the great thing about only being there for two days is that I didn't wear a lot of this stuff so it's not dirty I don't have to do a whole bunch of laundry uh, I got my good music merch tee of course on the back it said good music records if you guys haven't seen this shirt I've had it. this is like one of my favorite shirts It's cracking and everything because I've worn it so many times uh, but you see good music and then records on the bottom um, next up is a pair of pants that I actually never got to show you guys um, but I got these from Jack Threads and they were all green pair of uh, like chino pa like pants um, and I like the shape one the only thing they're from published so they have the drop crotch which is I mean, I really wish it didn't have the drop crotch per se, um, but as far as the fit goes on these, they're great for a green pants, of course, you guys know, published today for tomorrow on the inside. Um, I'm trying to look to see if they had the specific name on it, but they don't, and I forgot what they're called. So anyways, I had some green published chinos. I could wear those with my black Y3s, blue Y3s, um, you know, probably more so the black, red, and white ones that would work. Then next up we have some Stussy shorts. I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up so it doesn't take too long. Next up I got some Stussy shorts, just blue and white basketball shorts. You know, nothing real special. Um, next up I have my uh, sample fishery shirt right here. This is the one that mostly Tony held the, the uh, torch to. Sample fisheries on the back with our uh, basically our, all our tags and stuff. Have this. This is on the tag of all our um, shirts and stuff. So sample fisheries, sample fisheries inside. Um, and then I brought these shorts, didn't even wear them. I've had these for a really long time. These are just some 10 deep shorts. I had these for a really, really long time. These are called the 10 deep full clip shorts. I remember that. Next up, all I had was just, just imagine a white elongated tee from Zane Robe. Um, Flintlock. I talk about them all the time, the Flintlock tees. Um, next up, I brought my, I, it's funny, I didn't wear this one either. Uh, my Supreme shirt right here. I'm trying to think, Dorothy tee, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting. Brought my Supreme Dorothy tee right here. Next up we have the Supreme Bacchanal tee. And once again, another Supreme shirt that I really like and that I didn't even get a chance to wear. Next up, I brought, remember this is only two days. I brought my Nomad Badlands jersey right here. You guys can see all white mesh. Black neoprene on the sleeves as well as on the Nomad. You guys know Badlands Supply Co. My man uh, Remy from Australia, man. Salute, 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 salute to you. And then we have one more thing, or two more things maybe, and that's it. This is a jacket you guys actually just saw in that unboxing that I probably posted before this. It's actually from Zara, and it was on sale. It's almost a suede material, um, and I got mine in a size extra large, I believe, uh, just because I thought that, I figured that the Zara stuff would fit kind of small. So I'm pretty sure I got this one in an extra large, and it fits me like a large. It's, it's a great uh, like shirt. It's almost a, like a heavy, 
Imagine a heavy button down shirt. The inside is almost a, a mesh uh, material, but this joint is dope. Like it's all blue, nice and suede. This is a really dope jacket from Zara. And then just to end it off, because you've already seen all this stuff, um, we have a Tampa Bay Rays Wade Boggs jersey right here on the front. Tampa Bay Rays Boggs on the back. Once again, didn't get to wear it. And then I forgot about these. I actually got these shorts uh, from Zara. Once again, I have some stuff from Zara you guys haven't seen yet, which I'll be showing. Um, and they're all black uh, Bermuda shorts, I think they're called, or something like that. Um, I had to cut the seam on the side because they were just too short. I, I kind of like sag them a little bit sort of longer, but you guys see an all black coated um, denim short, which is great. But anyways, guys, that's basically my bag. I just got some of the extra sample shirts and stuff like that. So that's going to wrap up this video. Definitely leave a like and much love to all the fam, followers, and supporters. Come at you. <laughs> Thank you all. <laughs> all right. Alright guys, and that about wraps up the video. I just want to say thank you to all the fans, followers, and subscribers. So you guys see my face at least once in this video. Um, I gotta go head out. I'm in a little bit of a rush, so y'all be easy. Um, you guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, here, there. Blase, blah, at Bullet RC. And I'm gonna see you guys in the next video. Peace. How you doing? Alright, word, word. Just my hands are shaking.